the U.S. government, the Western government, congratulated uh, Israel on releasing, freeing four hostages. But you know, then we had 276 Palestinian civilians, you know, mainly civilians, and 600 others wounded. How do you, how do you respond to this kind of enormous death toll? So the secretary actually spoke to this the last couple of days while he was in the region. And um, I'll just echo what he said, which is our condolences go out to any innocent civilian that was killed or injured in this operation. Any country would have the right uh, to, to try and rescue hostages that are being held by a terrorist organization. That's the first thing. The second thing that's clear is that in the course of executing that raid, there was an intense firefight between Israel and Hamas. And I think that's important to, to, to note, that it wasn't just Israeli soldiers firing as they executed that raid. It was Hamas firing at them, and of course there was a crossfire um, of what apparently, by all accounts, was a in very intense firefight between Israel and Hamas. And as a result of that very intense firefight, seems like more than 200 people died, and that is an immense human tragedy. But that is why we are working so hard to get a ceasefire, to stop that kind of human tragedy, both for Palestinian people and for the hostages.